Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to style links using CSS. They have something that's called a state. So um, let's actually make a link and then we can sort of talk about what a state is. Let's go to my HTML here, and this, um, I'm just going to have some text and I'm going to have an href here, and I'm going to have this just be a pound. Um, and it's just going to be these first few characters. And by default, links get styled. Uh, let's go to Chrome here. They get styled blue and underlined. This is the browser default. If you have like a CSS reset or something, it may be different. But this is you, you're pretty standard, right? So when we click on this, um, you'll notice a few things happens. It was blue, but now that we've clicked on it, it's purple. Okay. So the blue state is just the uh, the link state. It's just a normal unvisited link. This purple state that we now see is the visited state. Um, this is what shows after somebody has clicked a link. Um, this can help your users know where they've been on your site. So that is the visited. And then when we click on it, it's going to be red. So I'm holding down the mouse button and that's why this is staying red. This is the active state. And then there's also the hover state. When your mouse hovers over this, something happens. However, since we, uh, by default, there's no hover state, you're not seeing anything. So let's do something with this link. And let's go to my page here. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to attach this style to all links that are within the wrapper. So down here, I'm going to write dot wrapper because it's in the class wrapper, and then it's going to be all of the anchor tags, but they're only the ones that are within the wrapper. So you do dot wrapper space a. Okay, so the way that we attach something to it is by having after the anchor tag for your normal class dot wrapper space a, we're going to have a colon and then what state it is. So let's say we want it on the hover state. We want it to be a background of red. So now if you look wrapper, anchor, and then your colon, and then the word hover, which is the state. Let's refresh this page here. And now when we hover over, it's going to be a red background. OK, and now again, let's copy and paste this and change it just a little bit. Instead of hover, we're going to say active, if I can spell it right, active. And we're going to give this a background of blue. Save this, come here, now it's red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. And if you do this enough times, you'll have a seizure. Um, but this is your link here, uh, active state. So you can do all great things. Some people do a technique where they have the top moved down by one pixel and it actually feels more like you're clicking a button or something. And we'll get over that once we get into position and uh, position relative, position absolute, all that stuff. And this is just normal CSS that you're putting into the, uh, the state. So you can attach really any CSS property to the state and have it change uh, via whatever action you're doing on this link. Another technique real quick that people might use is to say for their, let's make a new one of these and do dot wrapper anchor. For the normal link, we're going to have a text decoration of none. So it's not going to be underlined like it is now. But we want on hover, we want a text decoration of underline. So now the link is going to be underlined only when you hover over it. Let's check it out. So now you can see the link is differentiated by its active or by its visited state or its normal link color. But then when you hover over it, it's not only getting this color, it's getting this uh, underline. Let's actually get rid of that color just so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, so now it's getting this underline. So you're uh, you're letting people know that this text is colored for a reason, it's a link. Okay, and that's how you style links using CSS. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter, level up, touch, let us know what you're thinking. Once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching. Bye.